In this chapter, we will be looking at units of measurement. In this lesson, we will be converting between linear units of measurement. All right. Hi, everybody. So in this lesson, we're going to take a look at linear conversions. Okay, so we're going to convert from, from unit to unit. Now, within the metric system, and we looked at this in a previous lesson, that's actually fairly straightforward. It's just a matter of moving the decimal, the right number of spaces in the right direction. Uh, but now we're going to take a look at converting from the metric system to the imperial system, or even uh, within the imperial system. And these kinds of conversions are not as straightforward as it is with, with just within the, the metric system. Now, they're not that much more complicated, quite honestly, but they're a little bit more complicated. So what you need there is you need to know what the conversion factor is. And then what we do is, and we're going to get that from our formula sheet, uh, and then we're going to set up a proportion here to help us solve that. We'll talk about the steps here in just a second. And remember that we're focusing specifically uh, in this particular course here on linear measurements, okay? Things that we would use to measure a along a straight line sort of thing. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the, the given measurement that we have, and just to give you a structure for it, it doesn't always have to work like this, but it gives you a, a little bit of a st uh, structure to follow here. We're going to put the given conversion on the left, Okay, and then we're going to place the measurement uh, to convert on the, the right-hand side of, of our proportion because we're setting up a proportion here. Then what we're going to do here is there's going to be only one spot in our proportion that should be unknown because the given conversion okay, should have uh, the, the unit that we're, we're, we're going from and the unit that we're going to. Then the measurement that we're giving, well, that's, that's only going to be one of those. So in that proportion, there's going to be one unknown, so what we're going to do is we're going to cross multiply, and in some cases we're going to have to also then divide to get our final answer. Now if that doesn't quite make sense at this point here, let's go through and do a handful of examples, and I'm sure after you see uh, these done a few times here, that, that pattern of reasoning will start to make uh, more sense. Okay. So we're going to run through a few examples here. This first one is going to be uh, worked out for us in a little bit more detail than the rest of them here. We're going to convert 16 inches into centimeters. So first of all, we need to know what the conversion factor is from inches to, to centimeters. And what we see here, we look at our formula sheet, we see that 1 inch is equal to 2.54 centimeters. So we're going to build a proportion. 1 inch and 2.54 centimeters are the same thing. Okay? So in conceptually, this divided by this is giving us an equivalence of 1. Now, I, I, know, I know if you plug 1 divided by 2.54 in the calculator, you don't get 1. But 1 inch and 2.54 centimeters are the same length. They're the same basic, uh, yeah, I guess the best way to say it, the same lengths here. So I'm, multi I'm taking a length and dividing it essentially by itself, even though the units are a little bit different here. And that's okay. Now, on the right-hand side, what we're going to do here is we're going to put that 16 inches that we were given in the problem. And because inches is in the numerator here on our conversion side, uh, inch in, inches goes up here in, our, uh, on the, new, in the numerator on our right-hand side here. So our unknown is down in the denominator. So 1 inch is to 2.54 centimeters as 16 inches is to x centimeters. And what i got to do is i got to figure out what that, that x is. So I'm going to cross multiply. So x times 1 is going to equal 16 times 2.5, whoops, 5.4. Okay? And now 1 times x, that's, that's easy, that's just x. And so now what i got to do is that 16 times 2.54. And we get 40.64. And again, we notice that this is going to be centimeters. Okay, because it's in the denominator, and centimeters uh, was in the denominator when we were setting up our proportion there. Now, there are other ways that you can think that through in terms of getting the, the units, but that's, that's a helpful way to, to think about it. Let's take a look at another example. So 72 inches is equal to how many feet? Okay, well, we know that one foot is the same as 12 inches. Now, in this case, we know how many inches there are, so we're going to put that in the denominator, 72 inches. Now, what we're looking for is the number of feet. Okay, so I'm going to put x feet there. So we're going to cross multiply, so 1 times 72 
is going to equal 12 times x. So 72 is equal to 12x. And so now I have cross multiplied, but that wasn't enough to isolate the x, the unknown. So now what I got to do is I'm going to divide both sides by 12. So on this side, those are going to cancel. Okay, and 72 divided by 12 is going to give me 6. So what that means is this is 6 feet. Okay, and there you go. Let's try another one. We want to convert 2.74 feet into inches. Okay, well, it's similar to what we did before here. We know that 1 foot is equivalent to 12 inches, or 1 foot and 12 inches are the same thing. In this case here, we've got 2.74 feet. What we don't know is how many inches we've got. So again, we're going to cross multiply 1 times x. And I like that. I like when I have to multiply the variable by 1 because I know that's not going to change anything. And that means that I don't need to do the division. And then this will be 12 multiplied by 2.74. So just off to the side here, I'm going to enter my calculator 12 times 2.74, and we get 32.88. So 2.74 feet is going to equal 32.88 inches. Now we're going to work between systems. 25 miles is how many kilometers? Well, we look it up, and we see that 1 mile is the same as 1.609 kilometers. Now in this case, I know how many miles there are. There are 25 miles, so that's going to go in the numerator because that's where my miles are. And by the way, it doesn't matter if, if I had put this as 1.609 kilometers on top uh, and one mile in the denominator here. Okay, It doesn't, doesn't matter. And then down here, I've got x kilometers. I'm going to cross multiply. And I, again, I like that because I'm getting 1 times x, and I'm happy about that. Then 1.609 multiplied by 25. 1 times x is x. And then off to the side here, 1.609 multiplied by 25. And I get 40.225. And this is going to be my kilometers, so 40.225. Now. At some point here, we might start thinking about how we're going to round this, OK? But that will, that will come a little bit later. We'll talk about the rounding in a bit here. For right now, I'm just going to kind of dump the, the decimal that I've got in its, kind of in its completion here. Now, we're, we're back to, uh, actually, sorry, I was going to say back to converting within systems here. But actually, uh, this is still between the two systems. We're going to go 16.4 yards into meters. Well, we know that one yard is the same as 0 0.9144 meters. So it's interesting to note that they're close. A yard and a meter are pretty close, okay? But the meter is slightly longer, okay? And so now, in the numerator, we're going to put our 16.4 yards, and we don't know how many meters that is. But we'll cross multiply, so it's going to be 1 multiplied by x will equal 0 0.9144 multiplied by 16.4. So again, off to the side, 0.9144 multiplied by 16.4. OK, now this time I am going to round, because what I've got here is 14.99616. OK, well, even if I rounded this to the nearest hundredth, OK, that's going to go up to, to 15 here. So <coughs> let's, let's do that. We're going to round it to the nearest hundredth. So it'll be 15.00, 15.00 meters. And it's approximate. Put a little dot over top of the equal sign just to indicate that it's a, an approximate, that I rounded. Let's keep going. 92 inches, we want to convert that into yards. Now we're working again within the metrics, uh, sorry, the imperial system. So the conversion I've got is one yard is 36 inches. And so now, I've got 982 inches, and I'm curious as to how many yards that is. So I'm going to cross multiply, so it's going to be 982 times 1, which, which will just be 982, is going to equal x times 36. OK, well, now that I've got a coefficient in front of the x, now I want to pull out that additional step where we're going to divide both sides by that, that coefficient. and so. 
it becomes 982 divided by 36. And in this case here, I've got a, I've got a repeating decimal here, so I'm going to round that to the nearest hundredth. It'll be 27.28 uh, yards is equal to x. So 27.28. And I rounded that, so I'll put a little dot over top of the equal sign. Oop, and I'll do it in both cases. All right. Now I want to convert from feet into centimeters. Hmm. Okay, feet into centimeters. Well, maybe I don't have a direct conversion here from feet directly into centimeters. So what I got to do is I got to get a little bit clever here. So what we're going to do here is I can convert feet into inches, and then I can convert inches into centimeters. So we're going to do this in two steps. So one foot is 12 inches, and I've got 6.89 feet over x inches. So I'm going to cross multiply here, so x times 1, and I, again, I like that. And then this will be 12 times 6.89. And so off to the side, 12 times 6. Oops, 89. And I got 82.68. Now, in this particular case, I'm getting just, just that nice 82.68. If I got a, if I had gotten a, like a really long decimal um, and to the point where it makes sense to round it, I would have rounded it here, but I still would have left that full number in my calculator, and I'll show you why in just a second. I'm just going to leave that number there, because now what we're going to do is remember this is uh, this is going to be our inches here, 82.68 inches. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go one inch is 2.54 centimeters. We are looking for centimeters, and I know that we're dealing with 82.68 inches. So I don't know how many centimeters we've got. We're going to cross multiply. x times 1 will just be x. And this will be 2.54 multiplied by 82.68. And this is what I'm, I was talking about here. So now, because I left that number in there, when I do, go 2.54 multiply by, on my calculator, I can, I can tell it to go, I use the second, I can tell it to use the previous answer in the calculation. So that ANS is going to refer to this 82.68. So I don't need to worry about like rounding uh, and any, any errors that might be included because I rounded. So then I, I press enter here. And if I go to the nearest hundredth, I get 210.01. So 210.01. Uh, sorry, zero 01. Okay. Anyway, there you go. Now let's take a look at a couple questions that, that basically include a context. Ab is taking a trip through the U.S. Uh, his car says he has traveled 1,533 kilometers. How far has he driven in miles? Okay. So what we need here is a conversion from miles to kilometers. Now, fortunately for us, we have one. One mile is 1.609 kilometers. So we know one mile is 1.609 kilometers. Now, he's traveled 1,533 kilometers. How many miles is that? So we're going to cross multiply, and we're going to get 1,533 times 1, which is 1,533, will equal 1 1.609 times x. And then, because I, I now have a coefficient in front of the x, I want to get rid of that 1.609. So I divide. And then I've got 1,533 divided by 1 1.609. And we get uh, 952 point to the nearest hundredth. I'm going to get 77 miles, approximately, approximately. And there you go. And that makes sense. Okay, that makes sense. A mile is, is significantly larger than a kilometer. Okay, one more here. Bella is a trim carpenter and needs 826 inches of trim for a set of windows. Her supplier only sells the trim she needs in whole meters. Okay, how many meters does she need to buy? Okay, so we're going to convert inches into, into meters. Now, there, there likely isn't a direct... Uh, we're not going to have a, a direct uh, conversion from meters into, sorry, from inches into meters.
But, okay, I do have one uh, for a conversion from inches to centimeters. And then because we're already somewhat familiar with converting within the metric system, we're okay from that point on. So here we know, um, if you look back through your, even this particular exercise here, this particular lesson, on that first page here, we see one inch is 2.54 centimeters. So let's, let's use that here. One inch is 2.54 centimeters. Well, we've got 823 inches. So we put that again in the numerator because inches goes in the denominator. And then we're looking for the number of centimeters. I will cross multiply. Again, I love the fact that when I do that, I'm multiplying x by 1. And then this becomes 2.54 times 823. So I just do that on my calculator. 2.54 times 823. And I get 2,090.42 centimeters. Okay? Now, I just want to double check that I, yeah. So now... What we want to do with this is we now want to convert this into meters, okay? So 2,090.42 centimeters is going to equal, well, how many meters? Now, remember how this works. If you think about your, your, our chart here, okay, we had the meter here, and then it was decimeter, and then it was centimeter. Oops, sorry, you can't see that. Meter, decimeter, centimeter. And so what I want to do is I want to jump twice, Okay, I want to jump twice here, uh, centimeters to decimeter, decimeter to meter, which means I'm going to move the decimal two places. Because I'm going from a small unit to a large unit, the number that I'm, I'm creating should get smaller, okay? Um, because I'm, ch I'm chopping it up the same length, I'm chopping it up with a larger, a larger unit, I don't need quite as many. So... To make this number uh, smaller, I'm going to move the decimal two places to the left. So this becomes 20.9042 meters. Now there's, like it says here, there's some contextual rounding. If I need 20.9042 meters, therefore I need to buy, or, or Bella here, she's going to need to buy 21 meters to be able to uh, have enough trim for the windows. Probably more, quite honestly, because we always have to, there's always things that you, you do wrong and you gotta cut and you throw stuff away and whatnot. There's a little bit of waste there. So anyway, but there you go. Based on this question, at minimum 21 meters. Okay, so I hope that that pattern of, of setting up the conversion, setting up the proportion and, and working it through the end, I hope that makes sense. Mm -hmm.